Hey, this is Mike from the SEO Pub, and today I want to share with you a Google Sheet that I created, which will output code for you for different types of 301 redirects that you may need to do. This works only for websites on Apache servers, so inside a cPanel. If you're on a Windows server or an Nginx server, there's different methods for doing redirects. The majority of websites out there, though, and the ones you're going to encounter most often are on Apache servers, so I'm just focusing on that. If you want to get started using this spreadsheet yourself, what you need to do, the link's going to be in the description of the video. If you're on the SEO Pub mailing list, you also got mailed this link. If you're not on the SEO Pub mailing list, go ahead and head over there, sign up. Once a week, I send out tips and tools like this to everyone on that list. Uh, it'll also be in the welcome email when you sign up there. And what you need to do then is just go to file and make a copy. You make a copy, it'll save it for yourself and you'll have your own copy of it. You can edit it and you know if there's things in it that you wanna change for, for your own personal use, you can do that. Uh, that'll give you a copy that you can go ahead and start using. Before we dive into this, I do wanna make you aware that if you're not comfortable working with an HT access file and you haven't done this before, and even if you are experienced in doing this, I highly, highly recommend that you make a backup copy of the HT access file before you start doing any kind of edits. It is really easy to take an entire website down by making errors in the HT access file. So make a copy, download it, store it on your computer. And if anything goes wrong when you're making any kind of edits to it, you can always re-upload that file through file manager or whatever you use for your FTP service and get your website back up and running right away. Do not do any edits without making a backup of that file. So now that that's out of the way, I want to show you how you can use this sheet. Um, at the, the first page, you'll have there's the different types of redirects you can do. So if you want to redirect a URL to another URL on the same website, you would use this one. There's one for if you want to redirect the URL to a URL on a different website. You're going to use this one if you want to redirect an entire domain. So let's say you a business is rebranding and they bought a new domain and they want to redirect their old domain to the new one. Um, or if you bought an old domain and you're switching to a new one, whatever the case is, this will redirect all of an entire domain to a new domain using the same URL structure. Also have the code for redirecting www to non www versions of URLs and the opposite, redirect non-www to www. And then the last thing is if you wanna add trailing slashes to your URLs, or if you wanna remove all trailing slashes, I have the code there for you for that as well. So just to get started, we're gonna to go to the first one. So let's say you wanna redirect a URL to another URL on the same website. Um, and I'm just gonna use the SEO pub as an example. So let's say that, let's just pick a post here. So we have this URL here. And I'm going to copy that. And if we go into that tab on the sheet, on the sheet, all the instructions are right there for you. It's very easy to use. It tells you right here, you're going to type the old URL. You're going to enter the path here of the old URL without the HTTPS, without www, if you use www, and without the root domain. So for example, the one that we wanted to redirect was this URL, seopub.com forward slash can artificial intelligence, blah, blah, blah. What we're going to do is we're going to remove everything before that first slash. Okay. And we're going to redirect it to a new URL on the same site. So let's say that I wanted to change the URL to, let's say, artificial intelligence can write for your website. So we're getting rid of the can. And then you just hit enter. And right over here, the code spits out for you. And you just copy this. And you're going to paste it into the HT access file. So for example, if we do that now, and I go into file manager, I'm going to do this live. where you see the rewrite engine on, you wanna put this code in somewhere after that.
and we'll save it. And now it should happen if I reload this page, it's gonna redirect us to the other URL. There you can see it redirected to without the can, which is a 404 error because that page doesn't exist on this site right now. So, okay, so it takes us to this 404 page. Next example is, let's say you want to redirect a URL to a URL on a different site. In that case, what you would do, and I'm gonna pick another one. So let's say we want to redirect this to a different website. So I'm just gonna copy that URL. We do the same thing. So you're gonna type in the URL path of the old URL, again, without the HTTPS, the www if you use it, or the root domain. So I'm just gonna delete everything before that first slash. Now the one difference here is when you're the new URL, we do need the root domain. So let's say I was gonna redirect it to, uh, I'll redirect it to one of my other websites. So let's say I moved that post from the SEO pub to my other website clicked marketing and it resided there now. Same thing, you hit enter, it outputs the code for you. And then you come back over here, again, copy and paste it, save the changes. And now, when we come to this page, if we try to go to this post, it redirects us to clicked marketing. Again, that URL doesn't exist here, um, so it's, a, it's showing up a 404, but you can see the URL, it redirected it to the clicked marketing site. So that's how you use those two. Now, on both of these, there's enough columns to do, enough rows to do up to 200 redirects. You could easily copy and paste these and, and the rows and just keep continuing with these if you needed to do more than that. You could just copy and paste and continue on down um, and keep adding more to, to do more redirects than that. The other thing you could do if you have a big project you're working on with a website and you're doing a lot of redirects and like things are getting redesigned and reconfigured, you could ease, take a copy of this and add a, a column to add dates so you can keep track of dates of when each URL is when the redirect for each URL is put into place if you need to track that. You can modify this however you want. And what other thing you can use this particular one for, I, I mentioned it here in the instructions, if you wanted to redirect an entire website to just one URL, instead of typing in this, uh, instead of typing in a, a whole URL like this, you just use the slash. And that code, that outputs then will redirect the entire. So if I put this into my HT access file, every page on the SEO pub would redirect to this URL on clicked marketing. Okay, so the next sheet then is for, if you want to migrate an entire website to a new website. So this would be, most common example, this would be a business decides to rebrand and they want to move everything from their old website to a new domain. The URLs are all gonna stay the same though. Everything's migrating over. You would use this sheet for that and the code that this is gonna output. So let's say I was taking the SEO pub and I wanted to move it to clicked marketing. This is the same as the previous sheet. You're not gonna use the HTTPS, no www, and in this case, no trailing slashes. So I just put the SEO pub and let's say I wanted to migrate it to clicked marketing. Same thing, no HTTPS, no www, and uh, no trailing slashes. And you just hit enter, and the code outputs here. Now, two things that I have to mention on this sheet. First of all, this rewrite engine on, okay? When you copy this over, if your HT access file, we can get rid of this old code, already has a, it already says rewrite engine on, you don't need that part of the code. So just delete it. You don't wanna put it twice. The other thing is on any of these next few sheets here, when, when the code outputs more than one line, in spreadsheets, whenever there's a carriage return, when you copy and paste them over into a text editor, it always puts quotes around it. 
I can't figure out any way to, to make it not do that. Um, it, it'll always do that. So just be aware of that. You just need to remove the quotes and I'll show you what I mean here. See when I copy and paste it, it added this quote right here. And again, I don't need to rewrite engine on twice. And then it added a quote at the end of it. So that would be the code that I would put in in order to redirect the entire website, the SEO pub to click to marketing, keeping the same file structure. Next one is if you wanted to do your website from www version to non www versions, so you want all your URLs to not have a www in it. This one, again, you're just going to type in the domain, no trailing slashes, no HTTP and no www. So it would just be like the SEO pub com and it outputs this code you take this code copy and paste it again the rewrite engine on if that's already on already appears in your ht access file you don't need that part of the code and again when you copy and paste this it's going to copy with quotes the next one is the opposite so if you want to use a www version of your website then this is the code that you would need and you do the same thing And it's going to output this code. This is the code you feed into the HT access file. Same thing again, rewrite engine on the quotes are going to copy over. Make sure you remove those. And then on the last tab is if you want your website to have no trailing slashes in the URLs, you're going to use this code. And if you want your website to have trailing slashes in all the URLs, you're going to use this code. What I mean by trailing slashes is like this here, this slash on the end. That creates a different URL if the slash is there or not there. So you want to, the only thing about trailing slashes, I'll say you just want to be consistent. So for a website, you want to use one of these. It doesn't matter too much. I like the trailing slashes and I use this on all my websites, but um, you just want to be consistent. So it's a good idea to have one of these codes on there. Another thing I wanted to cover in this video is why you would use a sheet like this to create code to put into your website for redirects. A lot of websites out there I know are on WordPress and WordPress has plugins that will do redirects, including some of the popular SEO plugins out there like uh, Rank Math, Yoast, uh, my favorites SEO Press. They'll all, they all have options for you to put redirects right into the plugin. There's also a uh, I think there's one just called 301 redirection is a popular one. There's a bunch of different plugins out there that will do 301 redirects. Do not use those. There's a couple reasons that you don't want to use a plugin. Uh, number one, any extra plugins you put on a website creates bloat, slows it down. Uh, it also can create security issues, create vulnerabilities. If the developer of the plugin is not keeping up uh, with the, the plugin and keeping it updated, the other thing is if anything ever happened that the plugin became deprecated or uh, you decided you were no longer going to use it, anything happened that the plugin just was no longer around or you had to remove it, you're losing all your 301 redirects. So if that happened, you would lose all your 301 redirects. If you have them in your HT access file, they're there, they're not going anywhere. The other thing, some of the plugins don't handle 301 redirects properly. They should be handled on the server side. Some of those plugins do it on the browser side, on the user side, and that slows down the website. It slows down the website, slows down the user experience. On if you're doing your redirects on the server side, you could have 10,000, 20,000 redirects. It's not going to slow down the website at all because it happened. Those uh, that file gets read just instantly on the server side. It doesn't cause any kind of delays at all in in your website performance. So you want to do all your redirects inside your HT access file. Do not use any WordPress plugins um, or anything that does redirects on the front end at all. All right, that's it for this one. Again, don't forget to visit the seopub.com, sign up for our email list there and get more tips like this delivered right to your inbox every single week. I'll see everyone in the next one.